Well, hello my friends. Here we are. The work continues on the boat. It's a daily thing. But today I decided to pull out the camera and show you what's going on. Well, I bought a gen set for the boat, used. And uh, right now it's inside the marina cart and it's ready to be hoisted up. I got it where I got most of the weight, I hope. Pulled up a little tighter on the heavier side of it. So it should, it will probably still lean this way a little bit, but the majority of the weight should be on this. And it's uh, hooked up to my boom. That red line, basically I disconnected it coming from across on my uh, traveler. And this point, this point over here actually goes back up to that eyelet up on the top so got it spread out got it tied up to the deck over here so it won't swing back in as we're trying to hoist it up and my wife is on that side over there say hello Fatima she's on the
Now I just hope this uh, fits into that hole. That hole over there is only 14 and 3 quarter inch between the lip and up. And this said that uh, the hole opening was 15 by 15. So I anticipated that I would have to do a little bit of trimming. But this looks bigger than 15. I know it's wider than 15 on the tray. So what I'm hoping uh, for is that between the bottom of this and the very top, I can put it in there sideways. You know, this end first and sideways and be able to drop it up into the place that it needs to be. We'll see. And it will sit in there. This is, will be the front facing the front part of the boat. You know, I don't know if we'll be able to swing it over there enough. Okay. All right, uh, take this and start lowering, lowering it. You got it? Sorry about getting you guys dizzy. Not my fault, it's his fault. That's what I was trying to say, that you have that underneath there. Do you want me to lift it so you can pull those out? No, you pull it up underneath. You pull those up. Hold the camera so I can uh, wrap up that. All right, guys. Well, part one of a few parts is done. So I can leave this wrapped up over here? Uh, it's just release a little bit of weight and I'll tie this up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Time for phase two. And I just measured the height to uh, the highest point of this uh, generator, which is right over here. And that seems to measure up. With it being on the tray and to the bottom of these uh, mounts, about 14 and three quarters. I'm sorry, about 16. From inside the pan, I got about 14 and three quarters. So that's from here. So from there it will fit, and I got another half inch thickness between this and the uh, pan. So I don't know, it's gonna be really, really tight. Now I could remove the uh, starter. Uh, that's not too bad. It looks like it's only two bolts and that will eliminate this. And by doing that, that would give me enough clearance or I can remove it from the base pan, which is these four bolts right here and just take out the unit by itself have the unit sit over here actually put the base pan in its location and on the, on the uh, where it's gonna go prep and then just drop the unit back on into these uh, mounting mounting sections and with that uh, out of the way I mean the unit is no more than 13 inches in height so given me Plenty of room for it to go in. So the route I'm gonna go, since I gotta prep the bottom and I don't, I can't be pulling this up and I don't have a lot of room to wiggle things around with all of this in place. Uh, removing this from the mounts, motor mounts, and uh, from the pan, it will make it ni nice and easy for me to put the pan in place and then just lift the engine up and drop it in. And that's the route I'm gonna go.
number one and obvious is I gotta disconnect the linkage on the steering cable and push the rudder all the way to the side. The ladder has clips, so that's not a problem at all. And then that box on the bottom, it looks like it was made for a gen set to fit inside of it. If I put the gen set on the top of it, I don't really don't have to do any real modifications to that. Basically just sit the thing in. If I remove the ladder, open up that top and cut the back section of it for whatever else I need to for this to fit in, then I will have a double sun barrier on that which could work on my advantage, to my advantage. That's a wood box covered in fiberglass. So I'm going to go in there and see exactly what it is that I need to do. Said, the first thing that I need to do is get this linkage out of here so I can push this rudder all the way to the back and I don't think it's going to go back enough this way I don't think so I mean I do have a little bit of room on this side over here so I have to see and disconnecting this is most likely not going to give me any additional space for it to go back either but I will see just a cut a pin over here for this piece As you can see, I don't know if I showed it on yesterday's video, so I will edit this if I did, but there was a big gray box over there. And that gray box really could not give me any type of a setup for the generator. It didn't fit in the lint. It was very awkward. I'd have to butcher the heck out of it in the back. It would not give me accessibility. So I have no idea why that box was built over there. Maybe they wanted the generator to sit up on the top of it and it still did not make any sense because the headroom would be fairly tight. So I think it's sitting in the, uh, in the best possible way. And there's still a build-up platform underneath uh, the uh, generator right now which you know keeps it away from the very bottom of the build. So here's a few of the pieces of the wood that made that box. So you had a full box with these two sides, you had this on the back side which was overall length and then you had the other two sides which uh, one is underneath and you can see how it, this was fiberglass, it was very badly done. Somebody just went in there and kind of Mickey Mouse. Well I'm back, this is day two of the generator. And, uh, it's uh, 9.30 a.m. So Fatima had to go to work, but just before she left to go to work, I asked her to uh, give me a hand just controlling the winch, pulling it up, and the generator is sitting in its place. It went in without a hitch. Um, 
And the only thing I got was a little catch when she backed up just over here, which is really nothing. And I was able to control it from the top and not be underneath it. And just uh, wiggle it and it really went in there better than anticipated. Lining it up with the bolts for the uh, motor mounts, well, that was a slightly more difficult than uh, getting the, the piece in uh, the unit in place. Well, it's got a nice seat. The generator will have a soundproof shielding of the two parts. I have all the wiring, but that, the wiring part, will definitely be for somebody else. I am not good with electrical, unfortunately. I will have to learn some of it. Or well, most of the basics. I mean, I do understand the basics. I, I just yeah, don't. I would definitely not be able to hook up a generator. So anyway, I'll have an electrician coming in, come in, and do the hookups on this. I'll put the wire switch maybe up to my nav station, so I can control it from in there. Uh, put an override on the wiring that's already there. So the, the wiring is not going to be too complicated because there, there's already short power on that side which feeds the battery bank, feeds, uh, feeds the inverter, feeds everything uh, and the smart switches know what to do. So basically it will just be some sort of a disconnect between there and the main. Uh, so when I'm selected on the generator, it will not back feed to the uh, port on the uh, input. So this is it for today on the first part of the generator install. Again, raised up with the boom, the, uh, the line that I used, I kept that fully up there but uh, when you're using this it actually goes to this block right here which travels on a traveler so it goes something like this and this part this part goes up back up to the boom and hooks up on that island out there. Not gonna be able to reach up there and hold the camera. So I'll show you when it's done. And there it is. The line comes down to the block. On the bottom, on the traveler. It goes back up and it's just a knob at the end that will not let that slip through. This line over here is just a preventer. It keeps the boom from swinging uh, wildly uh, when you have it set one particular way. And there it goes. Everything's set, locked, and secured.